Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my next update on my Lighthawk Challenger here, where I'll be going over the motor and stuff that I have done. Well, I guess, I guess I'll just start off by showing you the new motor in there already. Um, I did have to uh, make one change. I had, to, I had to cut out the front piece of this mount here because this, this, it was just completely in the way for this motor to get in there. Oh, just for comparison, here is the old motor that was in there. So as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger. So I'm dual water cooling the motor with the uh, included cooling jacket that came with it. And also the um, motor mount, which is water cooled too. So I'm hoping that'll give me some decently low motor temperatures. As you can probably see, I had to uh, add some extensions between the speed controller and the motor because the wires were just not long enough. And what you, what you don't want to do is you don't want to add too much length between the battery and the speed controller. So it's, it's better to do between the speed controller and the motor. Uh, one other small thing I had to do on the back is I had to add this one bend here for the rudder control and I still have to replace this servo because this is just a garbage servo it's you know plastic gears and everything and I still need to um, get a new prop because plastic props just are not good enough I also added uh, a second water pickup so I could have the speed controller cooled separately so the speed controller is uh, cooled through this inlet tube it just goes into the speed controller and then straight right back out the back of the boat. And so the water cooling for the motor comes in here, you know, up the tube, comes in around to the um, motor mount here, and then comes out of the motor mount into the water cooling jacket, and then comes back out and exits the boat there. You probably noticed that I've got a different piece of tubing that I used for this run between the um, cooling mount and the uh, cooling jacket. I did it because this is much much stiffer tubing than this. It won't get crushed or kinked as easy for when I put the for when I put the uh, hatch on because I'm not sure exactly how much space I have in there and it does stick up fairly high. But it shouldn't be a problem now. I should have no restricted water flow at all from that. And I've just got my receiver on a piece of velcro so I can you know remove it as as, as need be and it's been waterproofed like I waterproof all my receivers with a uh, li liquid electrical tape works quite well yeah, I guess that does it for um, this update and uh, I'll see you guys next time thanks